Today we are looking at a crazy off meta pick, Twisted Fate Jungle. You might expect this to be a bad pick, with terrible jungle clear, but that doesn't matter because it's actually a spam ganking jungler that can outpace most meta junglers. TF has easy early game ganks, a long range teleport at level 6 that lets him gank any lane, and with this new custom AD build, finally has the DPS to back up his CC, 1v1ing enemies and solo carrying team fights. This might be my favourite off meta pick. But for First, let me quickly tell you about this video's sponsor, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a mobile 5v5 mech shooter. You can play casually with friends or try hard like any good League of Legends player would. Personally, I'm a huge fan of mechs. We really need one in League. This game is pretty much my dream, with tiny little mechs that can heal you all the way up to huge tanks. If a game has a mech, I'm all over it. I love seeing the variations. The shooting mechanics are also really fun, with a reload system for each gun you have to play around, making the fights extra tactical. The maps are great, with lots of different themes from from icy battles to futuristic cyberpunky ones. I've been playing it for a while now, here's my account if you want to add me. Oh nice, I unlocked a new mech, and even Chime got one. Just like with League, they're constantly updating the game, recently adding a new mech, the Stalker, who has a huge burst damage ability in exchange for taking more damage itself. And they added a new feature called Pilots, with new visuals, new gameplay, and even deeper strategy. Now's a great time to start playing. It's completely free to play on Android and iOS right now. You can use my personal link to get 50,000 credits, 3 gold crates, and an exclusive mechs are here event skin so you don't start from scratch. Link in the description. So, is TF Jungle a troll pick? The idea is a very old one from early League, most known for destroying TSM in 2014 in the semi-finals of an international tournament. It was played as a super aggressive early game jungler that then helped his team get picks in fights. The theory is great, but since the game has changed so much since then, the build and the playstyle need an update. So why would you play TF Jungle? His early ganks, they're great. He has a point and click CC stun to set up the gank. It doesn't really get any easier. Not to mention, the stun is also ranged, so TF can almost always get a single auto attack off to hit the enemy wherever they're standing. This already gives him a big advantage over the meta junglers, who need to hit skill shots to get their kills. At level 6, TF gets what I would call the best gank tool for any jungler. It's similar to a Nocturne ult, which is one of the hardest things to play against in solo queue, but TF's has double the range at rank 1. Wherever TF is, he can set up a gank, or respond to one and counter gank. No skill required. You can be farming camps on one side of the map and then see something happening and immediately teleport over there to collect kills. You don't need to manage a wave like mid tier. Here's a perfect example of a real game showing why it's so good. It looks like I'm just doing Rift Herald, ready to help my lanes. But in reality, I have ult and I'm constantly watching the lanes to see if I'm needed. I kite the Rift Herald, look mid, they're all good, so back to Rift. Look top lane, they're safe as well but it could be a good gank. I don't need to commit until someone else does, I can be in both places at the same time. While I'm doing this objective, in a split second I can immediately be mid, helping Malzahar ult the LeBlanc and get a kill. I can also be top lane immediately, stun carding the Jax to dive him. If the enemy jungler ganks either of them, immediately I can respond. If nothing happens, I just finish the objective and get an advantage. Finally action happens and I can decide, do I even need to ult? I see top winning a 1v1, so I just let it happen, capitalising on it with Rift Herald to kill the tower, boosting us far ahead head in gold and setting up this sick ultimate outplay, letting us kite out the Ramus and Jax for a double kill and first tower. If I had chosen to walk mid and go for a gank, we may have gotten nothing, it could have been warded. The fact that TF can be anywhere at any time and join any play is overpowered. It also gives full vision of the enemy team, so no gank is ever going to be risky. You always know if you're going to get counter ganked and you can decide if you want to do it or not. Notice you can see the enemy jungler on his raptors, so I know if it's safe or not. I know I have to exit through the top side or I'm going to die. Without the ultimate vision, this play could have ended terribly. If you're ganking an invisible champion, they also cannot outplay you, thanks to the vision it gives. You can keep DPSing even when you normally wouldn't be able to see them. Even in champ select, TF Jungle gives his team a huge advantage. Enemies will never expect TF to be anywhere except mid. Normally, it's a very risky thing to pick, because he's such a vulnerable laner, but since you don't need to worry about it, your mid can get counter pick. For example, if someone picks LeBlanc, which would normally be a great matchup to solo kill TF, your mid laner gets an easy counter pick with Malzahar and destroys her for the whole game. So on paper, TF Jungle's great, but we need to see if they actually work in game. We started with the classic pro build, APTF with Everfrost Predator. If it's the best build for mid lane, then why not for jungle as well? Oh, and if you're wondering why I have Pax TF, that's because Riot accidentally sent my personal information to another user. Back in 2018, I requested all of my account information from Riot. They sent the full file of information. 
to the wrong person. Of course I reported it as a GDPR violation and they just ignored me, so I ended up with some gifted skins from Riot instead. Not amazing, but at least they look cool in solo queue. Anyway, back to TF. We need to invent a path for TF jungle. His jungle clear is not the best. If we just do a full clear, the enemy jungler is going to be running circles around us, ganking before we can even do anything. So which camps are important? Red and blue are the most valuable. We need a path that secures both of these before the enemy jungler can invade us, while also using our early ganking power. Starting bot side with a big leash lets us speed immediately into mid lane for a first gank. Tell your mid laner not to push, and the point and click CC should set up an easy first blood. Worst case, you should at least get a flash and set up some great lane control for your mid. This gank is so early it consistently catches people out. After we can path straight to our top camp, kiting it, staying high health, ready to make another play. But there is one big problem with this strategy. We're taking Predator and building full AP. For these early plays, we're not going to have Predator, because we just have our jungle item, and we aren't really going to do any damage. Yes, the stun card is great, but where's the follow-up? TF has nothing. For this to work, we need a new rune page and a new build. Press the attack, the best rune page for early damage, and it helps your teammates damage as well, so it's easier to get picks. TF can now actually help with these early plays, doing most of the damage himself. We tested lethal tempo as well, but TF doesn't want to auto attack that many times in a fight. Early game he just wants to proc PTA and use the high damage burst to get a kill. Late game enemies die too fast for lethal tempo to work out. Press the attack is much better. With these runes we also need a new build. Full AD with crit. The reason is TF already buys rapid fire cannon every game. The synergy it has with his long range stun card is unbelievable. I also noticed that TF's cards actually have better AD scaling than AP, so their damage will actually be higher as well. You aren't losing anything as a jungler by building AD. Giving TF all this DPS changes him from an engaged champion into an engaged champion that can also 1v9 fights. Let's see how this new build goes. Same jungle path with a big leash from bot lane, right into a fast mid gank before the enemy thinks it's even possible, arriving just in time to get first blood. Next, collect red buff. You can gank top if there's a kill available there, again it'll be really early. In this game they're pushed up so I go back to mid again. With a great flank we get a kill. The great thing about not having predator or building AP, you don't need to base early on so you can stay around much longer and go for another mid gank. Fane thinks they're finally safe and I'm back in base, but it's just another kill for our team. Once you pick up noon quiver, your DPS starts to get strangely high, that's because we're maxing TF's E. His E does extra damage every fourth auto attack. In this build, TF's damage is all about attack speed. Buying Kraken Slayer as your first item, the E gives 40% attack speed, so throughout the game you can rely on it for DPS, giving you lots of options for your build. Similar to a champion like Evelyn or Elise, you now want to be constantly ganking. At most, do one camp and then a gank. This high tempo style means you can actually out jungle most enemies early on. And a secret little bonus to help with this, TF's gold passive. It's great for laning because you get extra gold for every minion you kill. It's not as effective for jungle, but since you're not really doing many camps, it does slightly increase your income, allowing you to just permanently be ganking. It works based on the amount of minions killed, so the AoE camps like Raptors are much better for TF, and Raptors can even help you gain health with red card thanks to the Omnivamp from your jungle item. Just like any AD jungler, taking dragon is now quite easy. With one teammate, the risk is very low. Ganking bot lane on TF is even better than usual. With your point and click hard CC, almost no champions can avoid dying to it. If enemies ever overextend when your ult's up, you can just ult directly behind them for a free kill. It's almost impossible to outplay. Mid game you now have items and get what TF has always wanted, follow up for your own gold cards. You don't need to rely on your teammates for damage, you can set up the picks and kill them yourself. If you're ever behind, TF is one of the best champions at coming back with a stun card and rapid fire combo. Grouping up with your team, you can hit some super high range stuns. Enemies won't expect the range, because TF only needs to land one auto attack and they can be CC locked to death. It's much easier than landing something like a hook, and it's literally a game changing ability. By the way, we did learn that ult can be a great escape tool. If enemies have no CC left, and you want to make sure you don't die to their jungler, make sure you ult somewhere safe and you can get out before you die. With TF's damage ramping up, you can now duo a Baron. TF with his E can bring all the damage they need. And let's not forget, TF can also still buy Zonyas, so has the option to go hybrid and still take advantage of this OP item. Then we get to team fights, likely the best part of the game for this build. He acts like an AD carry, but with one big advantage. The ult gives full vision of all enemies in the fight. You literally cannot be one shot from fog. 
since you can always reveal them and give your team a huge advantage. And you can also reposition if needed, unlike some AD carries who may be stuck on the wrong side of the fight unable to contribute. TF can just port over and still help. Your job in fights is to put out the maximum DPS possible with auto attacks. Since he has so much attack speed, the Kraken Slayer passive and TF's E are both procced over and over again. That's where your huge damage comes from. It's exactly like playing Vayne. TF is a perfect champion at abusing this interaction. You can also peel for yourself with stun card or use it with ult to get picks. TF always loves split pushing and can then immediately ult over to a fight, making it very easy to punish enemies that are overextended. Before we give it a rating, there's one big disadvantage you have to avoid if you want to play this pick. The big counter to it are melee dive champions, like Nocturne or Olaf. These are both good because their ultimates counter yours, so they're good ones to ban. The ideal matchup to play against as TF is a tank. Once you get Kraken Slayer, you can burst right through them. For your build, it's not just as simple as buying AD. We found a super strong one with a special interest interaction. Start blue smite as it's best for setting up your damage, attack speed boots for an early power spike, and your first item should be Kraken Slayer. Then buy rapid fire cannon for long range picks into Runan's Hurricane. Runan's has a special interaction, immediately proccing TF's E when you hit three targets. You get the extra damage immediately, only needing one auto attack to set it up, effectively tripling your damage. Kraken Slayer's passive also buffs your damage, giving TF what is basically an on-hit build. Runan's also lets you instantly kill any AoE camp, so late game you can be farming even faster than most other junglers. You can then choose Infinity Edge for even more damage and some big crits, or Zonya's for the safety in fights. You already have enough damage to win and sometimes the safety can let you do even more damage overall. In conclusion, is this build good or bad? I personally love this build. It might be my favourite off meta build so far, so I think I'm a bit biased. With all the adaptations we've created, the global gank pressure, the new rune page and the high DPS build, I would give TF Jungle an 8 out of 10. It's definitely as good as Janna Top, if not better since it's easier to pull off. I would not be surprised to see someone playing this above Master. These unique jungle paths do not get punished even in high elo, since you don't play against the same players often enough. I'm actually going to downgrade Lethality Trundle a tier, since although that build fixes a lot of his issues, TF Jungle is definitely better overall. Leave a comment if you have any builds you want me to review, I'm making a big list to test out and theorycraft on this channel. And thanks again to Mecarina for the sponsor, link in the description.